Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to do another update for my Supernatural Project Pan. This was a project that was created by Jessica and Amanda, so of course they're gonna be listed down below. And basically what we're doing is we're linking a product to every single episode of every single season of Supernatural, the TV show. And it's just gonna be here forever. <laughs> Anyways, even if you don't like uh, the, or if you've never seen this show, Supernatural, still a great project pan, so definitely stay tuned because we have five empties this month. Five. Yeah, five. So, didn't kind of plan it like that, so but if you haven't seen, my friend Tiffany and I created our own project pan, and it's called Five by Frosty. It's will be listed up here for the intro, and we just started it. So, and that updates on the 21st, so, which was like the same time I updated this series I guess so I ended up waiting like two weeks or so three weeks really and so we're gonna basically be uploading this on a different schedule so I think I had like six or so weeks to use these products this time maybe even seven so that's why we got so many you know out of the way but now they will be on a normal every month basis but I just had to switch up the the things Anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. And sorry I'm wearing the same um, hair and makeup, but I love this makeup look so much that I wanted to film another video with it. So here we are. And okay, so the first one that I have is for the 12th episode of the first season, which is called Faith. And this is the Stila Glitter and Glow in Smoky Storm. And this is where we are. I didn't make a new line. I'm just calling it done. I mean, I've taken the stopper out, rehydrated it so many times. I mean, it's just like so dry at this point. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the windows in there, but this whole top part is like a huge window. So anyways, I'm calling it done. I love them. I don't think I would get this shade again, but I definitely think I would get a lighter, more champagne-ish kind of color. This one was like a little bit dark, but it's a great like lid topper. But this one has been here the longest. It's been here for multiple updates. So I'm so glad to finally call this done. Now on to episode 17, which is Hell House. And I have the Hourglass uh, Primer. It is the number 28 Primer Serum. And this is where we were last time or the, when we entered the project. And this was last time, and then we finished it off. So this was a good hydrating serum. That's like exactly what the consistency was, is like a serum, like I don't wanna say oily, cause I feel like that has a bad connotation, but it's a very like slippy kind of serum. And so, I, I mean, I think it was hydrating. I don't know how much other benefits it really did but it was decent nothing that I would repurchase I like more of a glowy base primer but so I did have to mix this with another primer liquid highlighter type of thing but if I got another one of it I would probably use it for the 18th episode is something wicked and this one is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm prism cream and it is an all over self adjusting illuminizer nope illuminator and targeted highlighter good lord um and if you want to see the meaning and how I connected all this stuff just watch the previous episode I'll have a playlist probably you've already seen it or I'll just go and put it up here of um you know, all the updates. So if you want to see me linking them, you can watch the previous one. Uh, but this is where we started. And this was last month. So we were like so close. Done. We got this done in like a week, I think. But this is like what I would mix together so that I'd have like a illuminizing, illuminating, whatever, primer. So I'm just trying to get rid of all of my liquid highlighters in my collection and not have them as a category in my inventory videos anymore. Okay, so for the 19th episode is Providence, or Providence. It is the, uh, I picked the Moroccan Oil Curl Defining Cream, and this is where we started. This was last month, and then we are finished. I really liked this one. I mean, I don't think it did, like it definitely, nothing is going to help with the frizz that I have with my curls, just nothing 
I've come to that conclusion. Uh, but this was a decent, I really like the smell of it. I think that's the main reason. Oh my God, all that hair. Oh, we're just going to close that back. Um, this was just like a travel size. This wasn't like the full size. It's uh, two and a half, over two and a half ounces. But I don't know. I, unless I find something else that I love, I'd probably go back to this one just because I like the smell of it. But oh well. Okay, and then now we're in season two. So I have the, let's see, for the first episode is called In My Time of Dying. And I picked the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. Now, I think I might could get one more day out of this. But I mean, by the time that you actually see this video, it's going to be done. Because I think I can get a little bit more off of what's on the wand itself. You know, I think I could scrape a little bit of that off. But here is the inside it's all done all done she done but <laughs> this was a very light concealer it wasn't my favorite it's it was good I mean decent if you like a light coverage concealer like I would say light to medium then you might like this I feel like it wasn't very drying it didn't crease on me but not a lot of concealers really crease I don't have that kind of problem but it, I just like something that's got a little bit more coverage because, girl, you know, I got those dark circles from working night shift, so I wouldn't purchase that one, but I'm glad to have another concealer out of my inventories. Um, and then, okay, so that's it for the one that we finished. So five products. Um, going through these pretty fast this time. Uh, so the two products that we have left, right? Nope, one. We only have one product left. Ah! So we'll be rolling in five. Uh, this is for the season finale of um, season one. So this is Devil's Trap. And I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in the shade Light Ivory. This is not a light ivory. This is like almost orange. Uh, so I didn't use it as a concealer. I used it as more of like a color corrector. So let me like darken that line for you so you can see. So this is where we were last update and this is where we are now. I mean, we are so almost done. Like there's an air pocket in there and if there wasn't, then we would like probably like we're like all the way down here. We're so close. This will definitely be done by next month because I'm really having to squeeze it to get anything out. And I think there's just product here on the sides. So anyways. I mean, it was, I use these in conjunction because this was, this gave it a little bit extra coverage because it is technically a concealer, but this one like lightened it up since it was so dark. And if you, if I were to get this one, I would get it in a shade darker because that's really light. This is the lightest shade they have. This is one because they don't have a ton of shades, but I would probably get it in a lighter, I mean a darker shade. So I might be crazy. Well, we already know I am, but... I'm going to roll in some really hard products this time. We'll see how I do. Um, you know, I'm trying to, like I always say, I try to get products that I want to, like, I need help to get that extra, that extra oomph to get them out of my collection. So things that are like almost done, have a couple months left or mini primers, things like that, where I've had this for literally years and I used half of it and then I just stopped. Who knows why, but um, I decided to add some harder products this time. So let's just go ahead and start off strong. So for the, uh, we're in the second season now. So episode two is Everybody Loves a Clown. So this is where they go to this town that has a lot of like deaths around these clowns. Like these children are saying these clowns and no one really believes them. So basically they go into the circus, they find these clowns and they bring them back and to the house cause it's their friend and they like kill the family, but you know, leave the child. So, you know, anytime you think of a clown, you think of clown cheeks. So I just, I had to put a blush in here. I know. So, but I'm gonna make it a little bit easier on myself so I have these, I'm going to put like a couple in and 
whichever one I hit pan on first, I'm just gonna call it because I always wanna have like a pinkier, more cooler tone blush and a like warm bronzy orange blush. So these are the ones that I've been working on anyways. So why not see if I can hit pan on either of them? I think the one I'm gonna hit pan on first is this one. This is the Burt's Bees blush in Bare Peach. And the packaging's really cute. It's like a little honeycomb. But this is a very powdery formula. So I feel like I will be able to hit paint on this. I mean, I haven't used that much of it. So, I mean, these are going to be in here for months. But I'm going to see if I can enter pictures. Or if the pictures show anything different, then I'll insert them in. Um, so either that one or this is just a tart, like, little z palette thing that i have some blushes in as you can tell you know you can see what kind of blush i like uh so the ones i'm going to be working on are these two i think i don't know i feel like this is the one i'm going to hit pan in first out of these two this is pacifica tender heart and i already have a backup of that thanks to tiffany thank you so um i want to definitely go ahead and finish this blush off but I don't know which one I'm gonna hit pan on first, but whichever one I do, it will count because blushes, we all know, take freaking forever and I don't want this to be in the project for a year. So there's that. All right, so the next one is called, it's episode three, it's called Bloodlust. This is where they have, they find this nest of vampires, but they're actually like good vampires. So, they and they have this other hunter that's not like part of their like group who is like just doesn't want any type of supernatural thing out there and wants to kill them even if they're good like these ones they don't they do all of like the animal blood they don't do like humans or anything like that they don't harm them they're in their little nest and they are not hurting hurting anyone they're just doing their little thing but, so, well, long story short, uh, I ended up picking this. This is a Nest perfume. So, Vampire's Nest, Nest perfume. That's how I linked it. And this is in Sunkissed Hibiscus. And this is like a little, like, mini thing. It's got, let's see, 0.1 fluid ounces, 3 mils. So, not a lot, but I don't, I'm not good at panning perfumes because I literally change my per perfume up every single day. So I might use a perfume two, maybe three times this, like the same one in a month. So this is going to be hard for me, but I'm going to try to use it up. It's definitely more of a summer fragrance. It's, I mean, you can definitely, it's almost like beachy, coconutty with a little hint of floral. I don't know. I think it's really pretty. And I've only like used this enough to say that I liked it so that I could put it in the project. So we're all the way up here. Uh, but hopefully I can get this finished in a couple months because, you know, we're getting out of summer, even though I put a summer top on today because, you know, I was feeling it. So anyways, we'll go ahead and do that one. And then this next one's funny. It's so this is episode four. It's called uh, Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. I know. Um, so this is where this guy in college brings his, like, girlfriend back to life, which isn't really his girlfriend. It's, like, a friend that is a girl, but he wants her to be his girlfriend. So he, like, brings her back to life because she died in this car crash, and she is now his girlfriend, but she ends up being, like, a vengeful spirit and trying to kill everyone that had anything to do with her life. So anyone who basically crossed her path. So what I picked was, and I thought this was pretty good, a product that I'm bringing back to life. So a product that I repressed. I thought that, I thought that was pretty creative, if I don't say so myself. So anyways, um, this is, I just put it in this Becca Compact, um, but this is really like a mixture. It's a Franken bronzer. It's got I'll put a picture up here. It's got some Mary Kay bronzers in there, like two of those and a little bit of their powder. And then I think a little bit of like 
a Kat Von D, like from that Shade and Light palette. I don't know, it's got a bunch of everything in there. Um, but this is where we're at. I don't actually think this should take too long. I, Cause I can definitely see a dip over here. And I've been using this for, I don't know, on and off for the last couple, like a few months. So all I wanna do is hit pan on this because this one, it doesn't look like it, but it is my, like a good summer bronzer, but it's not one that I can wear for much longer. So I just wanna hit pan on it and then we'll be done. I think that should only take like a month or two, so. We'll see, but I'm putting a bronzer and a blush and a perfume. Oh, what was I thinking? Just stay tuned. I have another terrible idea coming. Um, okay, so this one should be fine. This is for episode five. It is called Simon Says, and this is where Sam and Dean find another child special, you know, person like Sam and uh he is a mind control he's like does mind control tell is it what is that telepath i don't know anyways i've watched these so long ago i'm trying to remember uh anyways he is like can do mind control and you know tell people to do things so what i picked was something that was overhyped so i thought you know because all these pot all these brands want to you know can i don't want to say control but like brainwash us into their products or like try to you know advertise us you know in other products so one that i thought was kind of overhyped is this benefit bad gal bang mascara and um i've been using this for probably the last month i would say or a couple weeks and the first of all the wand is too flimsy so it's just not the best i'm just I like their, what is it, Roller Lash so much better than this one. So I wouldn't purchase this one. I'm just gonna hopefully keep it in for like the next two months or so, maybe three, we'll see. And see if I can use it up. And because I have literally like 45 other mascaras. So I wanna at least get my money's worth out of this. Even though I think I got this for free. I pretty much got all, actually, I. I don't really pay for mascaras. Like I get them in boxes or add-ons, free gifts, stuff like that. I think I've purchased like one or two mascaras in the last like two years. And yet I still have 45 mascaras. So anyways, there's that. And then the last one, ugh, what I, was, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, this one is a six episode. This is no exit. So this one was a cool one. This one was where they hear about all these blondes going missing from this apartment complex and no one can really figure out like what and so uh, joe which is another one of the characters um she is a young blonde and she is from the roadhouse and she uh goes along with them and ends up getting captured by this ghost and basically they find out that this ghost was there used to be a jail next to the apartment complex that was torn down. And in their little side um, backyard, whatever, uh, which is now part of the apartment complex, that is where they did all of their hangings. And so the, the serial killer who of course loved blondes got hung in that property. So now he is haunting this new apartment complex and killing all these blondes. So anyways, I wanted to pick a product that won't die because apparently this this ghost serial killer didn't die either. So I picked a liquid lipstick. Yeah, but at least it's a mini. And like I said, if you watch my MDs video, I'm trying to go through all of my mini liquid lipsticks because they're easier to go through and I can still get my numbers down in my inventory. So, and I don't think I have too terribly much longer with this one though, because I've been doing pretty good. 
This is so old that all the writing, I mean, okay, that's one bad thing about ColourPop. I mean, they're so cheap, but one bad thing is like all the writing wears off on like every single one of my ColourPop liquid lipsticks, all of them basically. So I don't know what color this is. So I would like try to, I'll like put this on and then I'll like go to film a video and I'm like, I can't wear this one. I can't link it down below. So I will always like, I'll put this one on and then I'll top it with something that's like pretty much the exact same shade. So then that way I can link it for you guys, but I'll get you guys a swatch. And I mean, it's almost dried out, but so I think that's the shade right there. It's not too terribly off from the color that I'm wearing right now. But I have like literally like 50 colors that look like this. So, I don't know. If you guys have any idea what this shade is, let me know. But that's what that is. So hopefully in the next couple months I can get this one done. We'll cross our fingers. Um, I don't think I'm going to take the stopper out. I mean, I might. It just depends on how much product I can get out. We'll see. So I have a little surprise for you guys. Um, I am actually going to do a giveaway in this video too. So you had to stay tuned to the end to figure it out. Um, so I did my first giveaway for like when I hit 100 subscribers. And I made the mistake of not telling the winner to put or telling everyone to put their Instagram handle or email or something down there so I can contact them. So I waited like three or four months and... I think, well, or like, I waited like three months and I, the winner never contacted me. So I am going to open it back up. So I will link the video up here if you want to see exactly what is in here. Um, but it is filled up completely. And I have this little coffee scrub on top and it's got a bunch of little products in there. Um, this was, I, I'm saving a lot of full size stuff for the next giveaway I have that's gonna be it's gonna be a good one but this is just a little I thought of you thank you for being subscribed you have to be subscribed you have to link your email Instagram handle something for me to contact you so that I can send you this and you have to like the video I think that's a oh and follow me on Instagram so and I will have my Instagram handle is always down below so anyways um, hopefully you guys will like this, whoever wins, and I will do like a random number generator to do that, to pick the winner. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.